What's up everyone, I'm the Brickopotamus and this is my first update on my Republic base on Felucia Mock. So, I will start off with the landscape. As you can see, I have a lot of 2x2 dark tan tiles covering the entire landscape, uh, all from Pick-A-Brick. And then I have these weird looking Felucia plants that you can see in the Clone Wars episodes. Uh, basically, they don't look exactly like this, but this is the best I can do with the pieces I have on hand. So you got these tall, orange kind of ball plants with these blackish brown things separating them. I think I have 13 of those out. And then I also have these blue plants, which are not actually in Felucia. This is just what I created right now. Um, to fill in some space because later in the mock going to be ordering parts to build those big fat f blue flower things you see on Felucia. So, and then over here you have these two plants which I saw something like it in a fan art of Felucia. So, going to be using a few of those too. Uh, over here we have some water which I think looks pretty nice in the bluish color not like normal water exactly and then we have some orangish kind of stub plants like this mixed in with some green grassy plants and I'm not exactly sure what these orange things are you see them in a lot of pictures of Felucia Maybe they're like the sprouts of these bigger orange plants. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the landscape up here. Right down the middle we have kind of a dirt path which will lead up to the entrance of the base. And yeah. Okay, next I will be talking about the vehicles I'll be using in this mock. So, we have two Corporate Alliance tank droids. This one is, I think, the 2009 one, and then this one's 2013 from the Geonosian Arena. Then we have the classic Clone Wars AAT. Uh, and then over here, my Republic gunship mock, which I will be doing a separate video on soon. It's not 100% done, as you can see. I need to order some parts, finish up details. Uh, anyway, that's that. And we have Plo Koon's Jedi Starfighter. And over here, Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. This is the 2018 one. The other, the Plo Koon is from like 2010. Then we have two, uh, AT-RTs. They're both my own design. I have a tutorial on those if you want to build your own. <clears throat> and finally, my ATTE mock, which I will also be doing a video on. Pull this out a little bit. So, yeah, it looks pretty nice. It's not as big as it should be, but I had to make it fit with the door right here, which I will show you in just a second. Okay, guys, so let's move on to the base itself. As you can see, there is this massive door right here which is kind of the focus of the mock uh, you got these two little turrets right here which don't really move originally I was gonna have them be man turrets with clones in them but had too small of a space to work with then over here you have this smaller door which opens the other one opens too it's just a little harder a lot of friction anyway, pretty easy to open this one uh, and then Basically, it's just a few gray blocks with red streaks running through them, which I think looks pretty good. Over here, we have this kind of slanted wall, uh, which is not 100% done. But I basically just wanted to fill up some more space without using more gray bricks, because that's basically what I have left of gray bricks. Uh, as you can maybe tell, the floor, or the, I guess ground, I don't know, is snotted. So I didn't want to use any more tiles. I 
tiles are pretty expensive. I spent like thirty dollars and just a hundred, and then I used like all of them right here. So I ordered a lot of these big uh, one by six by five panels, and basically just found a design to keep that level throughout the mock. Uh, not 100% done. I need to order some more. Figure out how to connect these two without any gaps. Uh, and then, because we'll move on up here, we have what's going to be a command center. And this is definitely not finished yet. Um, but I've started kind of what the, some of it might look like. We have like a little hologram thingy here and a side panel right there leading to some, uh, I don't know, power generator looking things. And over here, we have this big jutting out glass window, which I like a lot. Uh, it comes out like that. We got Obi-Wan and a bomb squad looking out through that. I won't focus. And then the interior. So here is basically just going to be this giant ATTE hanger. Sorry, I can't get a better view. Uh, and then right here, I'm planning to have a wall and then light the inside. So hopefully when I open this door in the front, it'll look pretty cool. And then over here, sorry, uh, I would like you guys to vote in the comments what you want this area to be. Originally it was just going to be like a mini command center, I guess, but now I'm thinking maybe barracks or bark speeders, I don't know, something like that. And there's these two pillars, and uh, I probably need to fill in the wall without so many holes. So yeah, that's that area. Up here is just a little landing platform. I'll have one of the uh, starfighters here. And then on top of the command center, I will have the gunship and the other starfighter. And yeah, I will open the door now. Okay, so I thought I'd show you guys what I mean by friction when I try and open the door. Let me set the camera down, I guess. Oh, that's probably not going to focus. Oh, okay. So basically, it just gets stuck a lot on these... Uh, on the sides because the bricks connections are not seamless Probably should have used Technic or something To get that working smoother, but there we go actually got it up pretty easily so basically now you can see there's It's pretty awesome shot with an ATT coming through the door uh, And of course it'll look way better when this is covered up and lit and then up here, you see I have this kind of handle, which I'm going to build out more. Uh, so I can raise the door like this. And then there's kind of something I haven't worked out yet, but there's going to be a roof right here. And this door is going to have to come through it, so I don't really know how to do that without disrupting anything. And then you can see this glass area is kind of useless now. <laughs> it's just blocked off by a giant door. But that's kind of the only way I could get it to move. Uh, couldn't really do it from the side unless I had it all come out from this side this way, which would be a little weird. So yeah, that's basically that. Alright, so kind of the last thing I have to say is I will be bringing this mock to Brick Fair, Virginia, 2020. Hopefully, I'm like 90% sure. Uh, hopefully I'll get to meet a lot of big YouTube channels and stuff, um, have a good time there, but this needs to be modular, because, I mean, who's going to fit this in their car, right? So, I can kind of show you which sections come off. First, well, you can see this pretty obvious crease in the mock right here. These two sections pull apart, and then command center up here comes off like so, you can see right there where it's tiled and then the same on the other side Let me move around this is not the most convenient area but and then you get this will come off as well so 
So I can try and move that. And there we go. Put this over here. Okay, so you can see how I did. I just put these little points of connection on either side. And you can see without the command center, this is what it looks like. Got the command center over there. So, yeah, that's uh, the first modular section. Then I won't take all the others apart because I just want to keep them together, but I can show you where they break off. Uh, this base plate is, or this mock is three gray base plates. Uh, and this is where. Ooh, there we go. You can see right there, that's where two of them disconnect. This comes up and off. And you have four and a half of the 32 by 32 blue base plates on the other side. And those all disconnect from each other except for right here, this blue base plate and this gray one because they're both they both have a part under the door and I can't really make the door split in half for them to disconnect so I just left those two together and then uh, this is a gray base plate which comes off and you have the last two base plates in here so yeah so my plans for the next update which will most likely be in a few weeks so I can show you guys some significant progress uh, I'm gonna be figuring out what to do right here and over here so I don't know if you can tell but there's gonna be these two kinda walkways on the side this one has a little ramp down to that room might as well show you and then this walkway is gonna be finished and then right here in the middle I'm just gonna have this dark gray maybe I'll have some arrows going through it that'd be cool um, platform exactly this height right here so that's what that's gonna look like going to cover up this wall probably one of the later things I do and um, yeah I'm just gonna be ordering a lot of pieces as you can see this is what I have left of tiles this is bricks and I have basically zero plates left so yeah that's that and the last thing I'm gonna talk about is minifigures for this mock so this takes place at the end of season 3 of the Clone Wars where we have Blo Koon, Annika, Anakin and Ahsoka uh, basically trying to take back Felicia I don't know why that one okay well Plo Koon uh, some wolf pack troops which are just normal clone troopers with gray parts added and then just a ton of plane troopers uh, these 501st won't be here in the final product and here we have Soka and some other phase one troopers the reason I decided to go with this time period is well one I just have a lot more phase one than I do phase two and and I wanted to be able to use this version of Ahsoka with the two lightsabers which I guess doesn't really matter I don't know why nothing's focusing well, doesn't really matter but uh, I just thought those were some cool episodes of Clone Wars. Cool episode, I guess. And yeah. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.